Hi guys, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. This one is for the week of May 24th until May 29th. Also, check out one bookshelf ready. I'm waiting for the second one to arrive. So maybe in this video, maybe in another one, you will see a second bookshelf appear. Uh, I've done my white wigs on top, you will see the rest below. Anyways, this is the week of the Do the Tingleton Readathon and uh, uh, hosted by Ashley from Afro Electro Fiction. And I've opted to read some books that have been sent from publishers here in Macedonia that I'm due to review. Anyways, without further ado, roll the clip with the books. So here are my six options of the Macedonian editions that have been gifted by publishers. On the top left, we have American Dirt by Jenny Cummings. Next to it is The Dutch House by Anne Patchett. And to the right we have L'estate infinita by Eduardo Nessi, uh, which is an Italian book, I don't know if it's translated into English. On the bottom, from left to right, we have My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. Un hijo uh, is the original title, not sure if this is translated into English, is the middle book by Alejandro Palomas. And to the right we have Foundation by Isaac Asimov. And Yesterday I read a couple of chapters of all of these and I decided that I'll be reading the bottom three as the goal for the week. So My Dark Vanessa is my thriller. As a children's book or middle grade we have Unijo and for sci-fi I have Asimov, uh, Asimov's Foundation. Ideally I would get to all six of them but not sure how realistic that is so we'll see how things go. I'll update you later. Okay, so it's now Tuesday and recording a little update clip uh, on my lunch break. You may notice the same outfit and that's because uh, I just recorded the intro uh, because I'm wearing makeup today and I wasn't yesterday. Anyways, the first book I'm reading is Un Hijo by Alejandro Palomas. I cannot find information on Goodreads, whether it's available in English. If I do, I'll include the English edition in the description box below. I do recommend this. Uh, it's about a little boy called Gil. Uh, whose dream when he bec uh, when he grows up is to become Mary Poppins. Now, there's many references of Mary Poppins throughout this, which I don't fully understand. So it's Tuesday now, second day of the readathon, and I was gonna put makeup on, make myself all presentable before I've talked to you, but you know what? I want to rest and also do some reading on my lunch break, so it ain't gonna happen. So, the first book I've been reading is Un Hijo by Alejandro Palomas, which I still need to find the English book, uh, title of if it's translated. Anyways, I'm about halfway through this book, and look at that, stunning cover. And I'm slightly confused by this one. I like it, but I also find it a bit weird. It's about this kid who's obsessed with Mary Poppins and is gonna perform a Mary Poppins song in the school play. Now, I've never seen Mary Poppins nor read a book, so I'm not sure, really sure what all the references, uh, references are. That's maybe something I need to look into uh, after I finish this book. But it's interesting that it's told from a perspective of multiple people. So one is Gil, uh, the boy who is obsessed with these drawings and uh, gives weird answers to his teachers at school when everyone says when they want to grow up, they want to be Rafael Nadal or astronauts and so on and so forth. He says he wants to be Mary Poppins. So the teacher is somewhat concerned, talks to his, pair, uh, talks to his father. His mother is absent. He's, she's not in a picture, by the way. And they send him to the school counselor or psychologist, though I think the translation literally here is counselor, so I'm gonna go with that. So Gil is sent to the school counselor. He only has one friend who is a Pakistani immigrant, a little girl called Nasia, and her parents don't allow her to perform in the school play with him, so he has to perform alone. And he, the counselor basically makes him draw all his drawings of things about life at home and so on. And she's really intrigued, but she keeps thinking she's missing the picture. The teacher is also concerned. So like I said, there's multiple perspectives, the kid, the father, the teacher, and the counselor. But the most prevalent one is, of course, that one of the kid. So I'm really interested to see how this is going to go. 
So hopefully I will finish this today and then I'll have to look into Mary Poppins because some things that are just... There's so many references I don't get. Uh, if it hadn't been for this book, I probably wouldn't have looked into it. But now I'm intrigued, so I will check that out. Now Wednesday night, I'm, I'm ready to settle down, do some reading. I'm probably gonna play some ASMR on my laptop. I've got my sour cream and onion Pringles. I've got chocolate covered raisins, which I'm very partial to. I finished um hijo, which I'll talk more about tomorrow. And I'm now making my way through my dark Vanessa. And yeah, this is a stunning cover. Hey guys, so I'm here in my living room on a little break from work and I'm going to talk to you about my dark Vanessa. As uh, stunning as this cover is... So it's Saturday now. I'm just uh, taking a break from cleaning the whole house because it's my birthday Monday and I'm gonna have my boyfriend and my best friend over. So figured it should be clean, you know. Uh, but I wanted to let you know what I've been reading sort of this morning. Uh, I've decided to chuck foundation from Isaac Asimov to the side for now because I'm not really feeling sci-fi. This is one of the books done by a publisher, but I've already read two of those, so I figured my third one could be something I like. So I read a bit of The Camino Island by John Grisham. It's a heist type of story where they, where they, a bunch of, how many people? A bunch of people steal the Fitzgerald manuscripts from Princeton University and they're hiding and so on so it's really interesting and gripping me unlike foundation so i'm gonna get back to this to a later date and i'm gonna read a bit of this in jd ray reads sprints for the Duda singleton just now she starts i think at noon my time so 11 uk time so i'm gonna read a, a bit of this and then i'm gonna continue cleaning and i don't know if i'll record another clip today but if i do talk to you then if not, I will see you tomorrow or whenever I wrap up this little reading vlog. Hi guys, it's our Monday and it's my birthday. I've gotten a haircut, worn a nice dress, and figured that I'll wrap up. I didn't record anything yesterday, so I'm partway through the Camino Island by John Grisham. I'm really liking this and I will continue reading it this week. And then I finished My Dark Vanessa, and I love this stunning cover, but otherwise I don't think this is the story for me, and I will give in the, be giving this copy away. Foundation by Isaac Asimov. I was not really feeling like reading sci-fi, so I read a bit of this, and I will continue reading it at a later date. And then a book. I finished, another book is finished, is Un Hijo by Alejandro Palomas and this was very very nice and I highly recommend it. So this could have gone better but nevertheless it went quite good. Still waiting for the second shelf to arrive here for behind me. I'll see you in a future vlog. Let me know if you read a readathon, if you did a readathon, how you did. Happy reading and see you in another vlog. Bye!